650 to be able to see that. Um, we'll open it up for questions for players first so they have time to get out to practice. And then with Coach Mulkey, and then we have gymnastics. Coach Jay Clark come out after. And Alex Bregman will be acknowledged at halftime. Okay, uh, for both players, uh, just your thoughts on playing the number one team in the country and, uh, and the run that you guys are on, uh, three victories over ranked teams so far. I mean, we're super excited. Um, South Carolina, they're a great team. Um, it's definitely going to be a challenge, but I think, you know, if we focus on the things we need to focus on, uh, whether it's defense and our rebounding, I think we can have a good chance of coming out with a win. Definitely. Um, it's very exciting to play the number one team, especially having the season that we've been having. Um, I have a lot of confidence in this team and what we can do on the court, uh, defensively, offensively. We just got to rebound the ball and stop that transition. Uh, for both of y'all, uh, just how big is it to have this game at home? Um, to, I mean, we've seen y'all play at home against ranked teams before. Just how big is it? Oh, it was great. Like I said, I'm super excited. You know, I know Coach said 10,000 people, but I honestly think it's going to be a lot more. Um, we definitely need everyone to come out and support. I just, it definitely helps us. It gets us energy. It gets us the momentum going. And, yeah, we're, it's, it's definitely, like, an advantage having a home game against South Carolina. Yeah, the crowd is the biggest part of, of all our wins. You know, they keep us going when we get down. Um, they just they just keep us uplifted, you know. We go down by 10, they cheering us on. We go up by 10, we st they, cheer us, they still cheering us on. So the crowd is the biggest effect of this whole game. Uh, this is for both girls. We'll start with Jalen because we're on you already. Just um, what is what is coach tapped into, whether it be personal or as a team, that has enabled you guys to reach the potential that you're seeing on the court right now? Um, just being a dog on the offensive end and defensive end, never giving up. Um, she says body language is a big thing, and I mean I've done better at having better body language except for last game, but I got it back in there uh, fourth quarter. But just being a dog and going after everybody in any kind of way, like it doesn't matter who you are, we're coming to get you. And just to add on that, you know, coach gives us the confidence. She believes that we can, you know, beat South Carolina, and we're working on that every day. We're working on shots. We're putting up, um, mm -hmm. you know, working on our rebounding and stuff like that. So just working on the same things every day. It just builds on the confidence to play on Thursday. Uh, Faustine, um, obviously South Carolina has one of the best front courts in, in the country. What is that going to be like for you to go up against um, Lee Boston and the other talented base they have? Oh, yeah, you know, <coughs> yeah, she's a great player as well. Um, it's definitely going to be, you know, a challenge because, you know, she's going to do what she does. And um, I think the biggest thing is to make her uncomfortable. And if we do that for 40 minutes, I think, you know, it will be great for us. This is a follow-up. Is it the confidence she gives you because of the work she makes you do and you kind of see the results that have come with that work? I mean, this, this roster is a little different, but it's a lot of the same people that were here last year, but they're contributing in much more significant and, I guess, consistent ways. Right, yes. Um, definitely just the work that we put in every day. Um, it's showing in the games. It's showing in practice. So when we just continue to keep doing that, um, overall, it's just you just start playing well. Are you surprised? No, not at all. We work for this. Um, it starts in the preseason, it started in practice, and then now it's transferring in games. Uh, Jalen, do you treat this as just another game? Or does the intensity level go out, I mean, go up lead, uh, in practice leading up to it? Um, the way I look at every game is the same way. We just going out there, play hard, do my best, guard whoever I need to guard, take charges. So I do look at it as the same game, but it's also the number one team. You know, we still got a lot to prove, and we still got to, um, you know, so this, this is not a fluke. We're here to play. Any more questions for either of the players? Thank you, guys. Good Thank job, you guys. guys. Thank you. <laughs>
this this group I get to coach, they're given given the fans, they're given you know the community, they're giving us everything they have, and uh, I don't expect it to be any different Thursday. Let's hope it's good enough. Kim, I know you, at a certain level you treat every game the same, but is there anything you do uh, with your players in a situation like this to prevent them from being overcome by the moment? And, uh, no, over no. Jim, um, it, we just work. We do our scouting reports. We do great detailed scouting reports. And, yes, we're very aware of the fact that they're – the number one team in the country. They're supposed to win the league. They're supposed to win the national championship. Listen, we're, we're, we understand that. Um, but we also understand that if we win the game, we're not, we still haven't arrived yet. If we lose the game, the sky's not going to fall in. We got a lot of basketball in this league left to play and our goals will remain the same. Back here, Coach. Uh, I guess what was going to be the, the challenge for uh, Faustine and uh, all of them and the rest of your front court? Physical. Your guard, physical and rebound the ball. You got to rebound the ball. You got to be physical. Uh, you got to. You just. You, that's that's the biggest thing for them right now is they're going to have to defend people bigger than them. They're going to have to rebound with people bigger than them, and um, it's the first time probably. Well, it is the first time you've seen that much size together on the floor. Uh, and and they're experienced, um, you know. They they have experience. They're not young. They're not freshmen. Uh, so it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be big girl basketball down there. What's struck you so far with the evolution of of your team here? You know, I, I try not to just think about that. I try to just. Just work. I, I, I don't know that I had expectations. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, what I did know on paper was we had seniors. And when you look at your paper and you see you've got older players, no matter what kind of year they had previous to our arrival, they had experience. They know what it's like to play in the SEC. So that's so valuable. And so that's really about all I knew. And then when we started practice, you just started watching kids gain confidence and kids buy in and kids do what you ask them to do and change a mentality. And each coach is different. What the previous coaches required of them may not be what I require of them. Um, and it's, it's, been, it's been a joy to go to work. It's been a joy to watch them have success. And uh, it's been fun for them to see the crowds. It's, it's, they deserve it. And, um, and, you know, they're going to play hard for you, and that's all you can ask. You can't promise wins, um, but you can, you can promise that when they come here and they leave, they'll go, that, that, that team plays hard. And individually seeing them kind of reach some personal milestones, even if just performance, not necessarily statistically related. Is that obviously that's got to be beneficial? To you. <clears throat> when your team does good, the individual stuff happens. Uh, it's all about the team. You're watching a group come together um, and and be confident in each other, share the ball, share the wealth, and when the team does good, all those individual accolades will take care of itself. I mean, uh, y'all have taken I mean, a, a lot of steps, a lot of steps towards uh, getting this program uh, back to where it, it was. But you know, beating the number one team in the nation that will have you know, a lot of big ramifications, possibly getting y'all in the top ten. Have you thought about that, and have you discussed that with your team? Much? No, have not. Um, I mean, let's think about where we were and where we are today. It wasn't ranked when we got here. Won nine games last year, um, bringing in a new coaching staff. And little by little, we've just climbed. And when you do that and you focus on the next game, um, good things happen. And I'll say it again. Even if we were to beat South Carolina, we have not arrived yet, guys. Don't all of a sudden think we've arrived. If we lose to South Carolina, don't think all of a sudden, oh, they're back to reality. Our reality is we've got a good basketball program. Our reality is we're going to be competitive in every game. Our reality is LSU has made the commitment and given us the resources and the finances to put this program where it needs to be and where it used to be. 
And that's exciting to me. It's exciting for recruits. It's exciting for the community. It is a good, good time to play the number one ranked team in the country. And let's see what happens. Coach, um, how important is the y'all's ball pressure y'all put on defense to kind of take them out of the offense, kind of make the entry passes more difficult? Well, you got to keep in mind now they're just as talented as we are and, and probably more talented at a lot of spots than we are. Um, we're going to play good, hard-nosed man-to-man. I don't think that's any secret, but they have quickness as well. We can't allow them to dribble penetrate all day. We can't allow them to get a lot of transition layups all day. Uh, we've got we've to make them beat us in a half court. And um, we want to run, so I'm sure their game plan is to keep us out of transition. But I think when it gets down to it and if it's a, a tight game, it's going to come down to the bigs. It's going to come down to big girl basketball down there in the paint. Do you like that it's been different contributors for you? You know, in a couple games here or there, they've had big games that kind of blown up. Well, sure. The more, the more people that can contribute, the better you are and the harder you are to guard. Um, you know, we, we feel like we've got multiple people. If you look at our scoring, um, we've only got a couple that average in double figures, but then you got all those that are nine, nine, eight, seven. You know, everybody can, can get enough touches and get enough shots up. Um, certainly it starts with Kayla Pointer and it starts with the seniors. Um, Kayla's just deceptively um, effective. I mean, the game's over and that kid's got a double-double, or the game's over and that kid's got a triple-double. And uh, I, I told her and I told the team, the great players, it doesn't take a fan five minutes to see who the great players are. What takes time is do those great players make others around them better? I want to coach the great players that make their teammates better, that give them an easier shot, uh, that, that puts them in a position to be successful. Uh, and I think Kayla Pointer now has talent around her and she makes their – layups easier. She makes them look better. That's what great players do. Any more questions for Coach? We'll finish with Kevin in the back. Uh, it's going to be pretty special before the game with Simone Augustus being honored. How would you uh, describe her impact on the women's game from top to bottom? I'd like to see a monument out there next to Shaq's for Simone Augustus before I leave here. I'd like to see Sylvia Fowles have a monument out there. That's how much I think of those two young ladies. What they did for this university and what they did for women's basketball um, was phenomenal. And then they left and, and, and not only did it at LSU, they did it in their pro careers. And uh, so I hope that speaks volumes of what I think of her talent, what I think she means to this university. And if I don't do anything before I leave here, I see two new monuments put up out there next to Shaq's. Why not? Why not?